All right, YouTube, I'm here with a Toyota Corolla, and I'm helping my friend remove this fuse right here it's to control your alternator. It helps control the charging and everything. And as you can tell, as you can see right here, it melted and it blew the fuse so it doesn't charge the battery and he had a heck of a time trying to figure out how to replace it how to fix it and he got one from the junkyard and they just cut it off down here they just cut it and so they didn't unhook it from the car it just all the cut wires so he ended up having to pull it out of the housing so we dissected the one and we got the one out so here's the one we pulled out of the box and I'm actually wanting to show you a few little tricks to get it out of the housing. So your housing, you got, as you can look at this, you have these clips on the sides. Got a clip here, clip here, a clip here. And what tricks you is this one down, sorry about the videos, down in there. Uh, I was having the hardest time thinking that I needed to undo that because all this comes out. And that's not what you need to focus on. You need to focus on these two. So this one and this one. And this third one over here. Then you focus on this one. And you focus on this one. So you get these two. And those are located right here. So you have one here, here, and then here, here, and here. So once you pull those, you just get uh, screwdrivers just shoving them it down popping them from the clips and then it literally just pushes out slides out i would suggest removing the battery getting the battery out of the way and uh disconnecting it pulling it out you got your your air intake right here so pull all that stuff out to give you as pl plenty of room as possible okay so you're gonna have this 10 millimeter bolt it's going to be in there so what I would suggest is to have them together so I have this one facing the exact way that this one is facing so as I pull off as I pull off a part I will put it right back on so pull that sorry you can hear my kid in the background okay she's done screaming <laughs> okay so there it is, that's just popped off. And it slides off, that's where that one that I was talking about that I thought I had to get, that's when this one comes in. So that clip and that bolt is holding that on. So you wanna move that aside. And you have more down here, so you wanna make sure that you put these in the exact order that you pull them off of. And then come down here, come on this side, you got more, more back here. And you even have clips that you're gonna have to unclip and clip right into the same spot so I'm gonna go to that point and what I would suggest is to just take your time and if you need to take pictures take pictures or if you have one already apart like mine then just have it to where when you pull something off you can put it right back on okay be back at that point okay I'm back okay I got it all switched out hooked everything up, tightened them all down to how they go. And now it's time to put it up underneath. Oh look, my wife joined me. Put it up underneath. Just kind of line it up. It's kind of a pain because it don't give you a lot of space. We'll just finagle it in and then it clips so there's the new one installed now I'll go back to hooking it all back up and I'll be back okay so now I'm back so now you just want to line all your cables up to where they they sit in to where you can get the housing closed so I kind of spent, uh, had a little bit of time 
kind of made sure everything was hooked up, kind of gone back over my work. And now I'm gonna start just closing, closing everything up. So you just wanna just kind of hear it snap in place. Kind of move everything out of the way, like, so you got these little things will fit. Kind of lock your uh, wires in. all out of the way so now everything pretty much has a hole so you have the screw down here so now let's grab these are all 10 millimeter keep all your cables and wires out of the way and then now you got this little harness this harness comes around you can have the clips they're pretty self-explanatory of where they go because they can only fit in a certain spot put those in you got little tracks that you want to try to slide them down once it slides down on that, and then it should clip into place. It clips in, and you have your nuts that go on. Those should also be 10 millimeter. Tighten those in place. Don't want to put too much on it. And then I will go get the rest of the stuff and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Okay, so now the next step is to grab the part of the computer. That is gonna go down here. It's quite interesting and fun, but you gotta just kind of mess with trying to get everything put back in because it always seems to take a little bit harder to come to go back in than it does taking it apart because you're just like pulling stuff off Now, that being done, now you have this big mama to put in. So this clamps on. There's a little piece that that will clamp onto. Then what I suggest, get this kind of lined up, and then you have to kind of kick it out because it's gotta, it's gotta fit. It's gotta fit right like that. I think so when you pull it in, it locks it into place. Same with this one. I'm gonna kind of get it on there. Pull, make sure that's pulled all the way back. Should kind of fit down in. And those are tight. This goes to your mass airflow sensor. Now it's time to put this down. Now you have your air intake. Grab that guy. Put that in. Also a 10 mil.
then we have this. Just want to make sure. fits inside and it goes inside there but it also fits where you can get the three screws lined up three bolts they're gonna come down hopefully they're lined up so it'll be just simple to get them in there Okay, now you have your air filter and inside that, you have your cover, air, air filter, this is going to be fun with one hand. Clamps clamped in. Oops, sorry, there's the mass airflow sensor. I was hooked to this. It's kind of just wrapping around like that. Now it's just putting your battery in. So again, this is for replacing this fuse that is controls helps control your uh, your uh, alternator to charge the battery. And so if this fuse is blown, like it was blown here, then that's how you replace. All right, here it is, all hooked back together. The battery in. Battery's in, everything's in, everything's together. Uh, I would just suggest take pictures. Uh, go back through this video. I know that it's in reverse mode. Uh, I apologize for that. Um, I was just helping out a friend. He started it and he got lost and he didn't know what to do. He didn't know how to fix it. So I asked, I told him that I'd help him out and so here I am and I figured if he was struggling and stuff that maybe other people out there would be struggling. So just wanted to make this video and kind of show you in reverse mode but it's really simple. I'll just kind of talk about the steps. You want to definitely disconnect the battery. That is a for sure thing you want to disconnect because you're going to be messing with electrical. Disconnect that, take the battery out and it just gives you more space. And then you're going to want to take out your air filter. So pull your air filter out, disconnect everything, pull that out. Get that out, you're going to have, remember you got the box, then you're going to disconnect the plug here, the pin back here. If you can see my hand, my finger down there, you disconnect those two and that will just pop out. Disconnect this, pull that out, pull the air filter out. You're going to have two bolts or three bolts in the housing that's uh, uh, down at the bottom pull those out pull your whole air filter out then that will give you more space then you got this box right here this is just held on literally by three bolts you just disconnect those three bolts remember these just connect like that just literally just push that tab in and it will come up if you don't push it in it won't come up just push that tab in it comes up and that just slides right out It'll just come right out, disconnect those, lay those aside. Then you have your uh, three bolts on this. So you have the bolt down here, the bolt back here, and then there's one 
underneath over there. Then that will access this and that will give you to pull this up and then you just have all those clamps that I showed you that you need to disconnect. Just remember when you get to pulling this out after you release the housing so you have all the wires exposed underneath that you can see see down in there and they have all those wires exposed then you're gonna have a flat flat blade screwdriver go through here go through this one go through this one and then you have these two this one and this one it kind of tricks you because you can see down there that that one is one as well but that will come later and then you just slide that out I just work on a side like once you got like these three done you can push it down and then work on these two and then it literally just slides out trust me it slides out as easy as you see on the video as it slides in it slides out that easy and then just mirror it have the old one next to it and just as you pull it off just make a mental note if you have to take pictures take pictures and just put it all back together how you pull it off and then just go and just pretty much as you took off just go in that same order putting it all back together and then as the battery being the last thing that you hook up so hope this video helps you with your 2009 uh, Toyota Corolla and uh, if you have any questions or comments please leave them below I'll be happy to answer as I can and uh, this was because the alternator was not charging the battery it pretty much this fuse controls controls that it, it just it was not working uh, my buddy did research and everyone talked about this fuse and it was just a bear to get out and we tried we looked at videos and there's nothing on the web showing the easy way or best way to pull this out other than what I have shown you today so Hope that helps. If you have any questions again, please leave uh, a comment and please subscribe. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.